I figured we'd let these guys know what we're doing. What are we doing, Jake? We're gonna tighten my chain, and then we're gonna ride my bike, switch over the exhaust to the FMF, then we're gonna ride it again. Then we're gonna bring it back, then we're gonna throw the red power valve spring in, then we're gonna ride it again, and then we're gonna tell you what we think. All right, so basically we're, we're doing a big experiment. So we have a lot of uh, controls and a lot of, what's the other one, control and? Well, it'd be independent and dependent variables. Independent and dependent variables. This guy's still going to college, I am not, so I forget stuff. Thank you for educating us, buddy. <laughs> so the first thing we gotta do is tighten up Jake's chain so we don't have the chain just flopping and flapping and everything like that. And then we'll have to warm it up so we get a nice, so is, is this the independent variable or is this the dependent variable? independent. Okay. I think. Okay. I'm not positive. I don't know because the independent depends on the dependent. I don't remember dude. <laughs> it's okay. Basically we're, we're just experimenting and seeing what things do what. Who cares what the names are? But if you do know, leave it in the comment section below. We can learn something. Wait, you got new tools? Yeah, Riley got them for me. Really? Oh, we forgot to get the Loctite. One of you guys sent out like a huge thing of Loctite for us to use and I, we were supposed to grab it, but we forgot. There's always another time. We'll, we'll get to it, we'll use your stuff. Whatever you guys send, like even if, basically don't be offended if I don't get to your stuff right away. I do appreciate everything you guys send. Just the weather right now is not cooperative to work on. Jake says the weather's not cooperating so it makes it difficult not to get to your stuff and I completely agree. I hope that made sense. Ready to rip it. Jake might potentially be buying new graphics for his bike soon, but before he gets his new graphics, he still wants to rock a new 3D Machines decal. I don't blame him. You guys have already ordered a lot of them. That's what they look like. Danny even stepped by my house and is like, hey dude, I need to get some of those. The, the kid that found the Grizzly and I helped him fix his four-wheeler, that Danny. I hooked him up with two. He was a happy, happy camper. So we'll have to get two for Jake. And if he gets a new graphics kit, maybe we'll get him more, I don't know. See, I'm holding them right now and they're already giving me more power. Brap! Now Jake, brace yourself. As soon as you touch these, you're, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're gonna, you're gonna feel a little difference in horsepower, buddy. Is he gonna, gonna get me excited? Can you feel the, the, adre the adrenaline rush? Oh, buddy, are you okay? He doesn't know where he's gonna put them, but. Uh, they are clear though, huh? No, 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 they're white. The white, oh, the white. So only the text will show up. I hate, the guy, the previous owner had this 450, this panel, because he lost this panel. And I hate how everyone, like, oh, it's a 450. No, it's a 300, dude, look at the pipe. <laughs> Dude, maybe they just like board it right out and there's like... Yeah, but a 450 don't have an expansion it, it doesn't matter, man. You just make stuff happen. You don't know how decal works? Well, I feel like you said just the white shows up. Yeah, yeah. So what will happen... Oh my goodness. <laughs> let's do an instructional video. Okay, let's do an instructional... Okay, so is this clean? No. Okay, let's clean it. And if I ever see anybody with a 3D Machines decal on their vehicle, on their on their toolbox or on their dirt bike, trust me, I will definitely go towards you and uh, say hi. So this is kind of like a cool kind of communication tool, really. The cleaner, the better. Let's make my bike look pretty shiny, though, and I might have you do the rest of it. Now we should be in business. Let's see it. Might not be the best spot for it because Jake's legs go right there, but... Uh... Hey, he just wants to reap a couple horsepower right now, so. We didn't take that into our independent versus dependent variable. Oh, man. We should have wrote it before we put the sticker on. This is going to completely screw up our whole experiment right here. I would look like. Don't forget, you guys, when I hit 500,000 subscribers, I'm gonna buy a two stroke dirt bike. I was telling these guys, when we hit 500,000 subscribers, I'm gonna go out and buy a bike. Oh, and this what? is what I'd look like because you got my helmet on and you're riding a two stroke. What, you buying a two stroke? Yeah. yeah. When we hit 500,000. When's that, tomorrow? I hope so. I wanna get on one. I don't blame you. These things are ready to rock and roll, right? Definitely need that Loctite. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to bust out the Loctite, right? <laughs> Oh! 
he's a pro. He is a freaking pro. Jake's a really, really fast learner when it comes to dirt bikes, so he's he's like a natural. So Jake's testing how fast like the bike goes, like accelerating. He just wants to test basically the power, the overall engine capabilities. It feels fast? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you think you're certain enough that you're going to be able to feel the difference? Am I certain enough? No. Really? I don't know, dude. It's tough. It's tough because there's no traction, right? Well, on the road there's plenty of traction, but in the, in the snow... Plus, I don't really think they make that huge of a difference. That's the point of experimenting, right? Wow. Two bolts, that's all you need. So supposedly this is going to give you more low end torque? That's what some people say. I want to see if Jake can really feel a difference because I I feel like on two strokes most of the, the business is going on right here in the, in the expansion part of the muffler. All right. Jake, I don't think I've ever seen you this excited in my life. He's like happier than pig and, well you know what. This pipe looks so much better in my opinion. You got some silver going on, but then you also have some Americana going on. You know, we're from America, so we kind of appreciate that. Oh, say can Jake see whether or not this is going to be any different. It's going to have a little bit different rasp. Rasp. Lower. It, it sounds lower. Now we'll let him decide if it's acting different or if it's the same. Because it does sound a little different. Sounds yeah, it sounds. It definitely sounds like deeper. I don't think I really noticed the difference though. in performance. Yeah, well, it's hard to tell. I did a, I did higher wheelies this time when I took off. So final thoughts are that it sounds a little deeper, and performance-wise, not quite sure. Not quite sure. Not quite sure. But I'm gonna keep it on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like the looks of it. Are we gonna end up messing with the power valve? Yeah, probably. Jake already does very well at the hair scramble as it is. Like, this is his first year and he was coming in like, what, top like five every time? It's good. But Jake just wants to be dialed. I have to say, the new exhaust and the new 3D Machines decal will definitely help him when it comes to this. Power valve time. <laughs> a little bit too much. Basically today has been like a lab, you know, when you go to school or high school or college or whatever, you go to like chemistry class or tech class and you're given an assignment and you're, you got to do some research, do some experimenting and stuff like that. That's what Jake's doing. But on his dirt bike, so it's a little bit more fun because he can experiment with it and then ride it. Granted it is cold, but it's still fun, right Jake? Oh, it's a blast. It can take any of them, but it currently has a yellow spring, which is, as you can see, good drivability, the green speed, the green one is for smoother power, and then the red is, uh, I like this word right here, aggressive engine characteristics. That being said, I think Jake wants to go with the yellow, red one. <laughs> Do you think you're going to be able to handle that red spring? Is this going to make you more excited than the exhaust? I don't know, I kind of like the exhaust. <laughs> On a 1 to 10 scale, how excited are you? I think I was a little bit more pumped for the uh, exhaust, so... This is what this is. I think this is going to make a bigger difference, though.
friends. <laughs> Dolan? I was a fifth gear. Really? Yeah. I didn't get the shot though. No! no. <laughs> God dang it! Why not? <laughs> he, he, does a, he just pops it up and does a wheelie right, right across right in front of me. I didn't get it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't get it. What were you doing? The shot, I, I had gloves on so I couldn't get the button in time. Did you get any of that? Yeah, I did. Okay. Just I didn't get the best fire. Oh, I like it for doing wheelies. So if you want an animal for a bike, put the red power, power bell spring in. If you want a little bit more timid animal, like a rabbit, still fast, but not as rambunctious, go with the other degree. So what animal would you... Um, a cougar. A cougar? Yeah. Wow. I'm gonna leave that spring in there. Oh, so you, so you like the cougar. Our lab and our science experiment is complete, I guess, according to Jake. So I hope you guys enjoyed that experimentation time with Bill Nye the Science Guy and myself. Yeah. Until tomorrow, check the toilet snake and 3D machines out. Peace.